Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Conquer College Admissions. This is Julie Kim, and I'm a graduate of USC and Harvard University and the founder of Passion Prep, a national college consulting company. In this video, I'm going to be talking about a question that I get asked very frequently, and that is, should I volunteer at the hospital if I want to go into the pre-med or any kind of medical sciences? So let's go ahead and dive right in. So every time I'm coaching our students, I get this question asked every call. And that is, should I volunteer at the hospital if I want to go into pre-med or medical sciences, even dentistry? And there are many parts to this question that I like to unfold. And the first one is volunteering. A lot of students are trying to accumulate a lot of volunteering hours, thinking that that's going to help them stand out. But not everyone needs to always be volunteering, especially if that's not a part of your theme. A theme is a formula that I teach inside our program. It's academic interest plus your personal interest plus SPV. S stands for strength, P stands for personality, and V stands for values. So when our students have a value, of volunteering, helping out the community, being in service, it totally makes sense to pursue volunteering. And so we give our students a good list of volunteering opportunities. That's going to be a good fit for them. But for pre-med students, if you are trying to volunteer at the hospital, just because you feel like adding that is going to help you stand out in your college application, that is absolutely not true. So typically when you volunteer at big size hospitals. Uh, a lot of the work that you're going to be doing is not really related to patient interaction. So a lot of that could be folding pillows and blankets, running errands, um, doing uh, outpatient uh, tasks and duties and wheeling out patients to go home. There's obviously more tasks than that, but a lot of them um, are just within that boundary. You're not going to be like diagnosing a patient. You're not going to be like walking with a doctor and you know, getting that like very intimate part of the doctor to patient relationship. Um, I personally did volunteer at a hospital before um, and also a, a lot of our students have done that as well. And the thing that you have to watch out for is that when you do decide to volunteer hospital, you have to work there almost a full day. And so for example, there was a hospital in California that my students decided to volunteer at and she had to go in at 7 a.m. and then the shift was done at 5 p.m. So your entire Saturday is being spent on volunteering at the hospital. The benefit of is that there is a, a exposure benefit. You're getting exposure to the hospital setting. You're seeing the patients, you are seeing the doctors, the nurses, and anyone else that's involved in this medical environment. So exposure purposes, it's great, but for you to continuously do the same thing over and over again, that is necessarily not the best usage of your time. So let's say for example, a student wanted to go into um, uh, ophthalmology, then you, yes, you can start at a hospital, get you know some initial exposure, shadowing, um, just not ophthalmology specific because you can't choose that, but just a general hospital environment. And then the next step is what we really focus on, which is, okay, if you're interested in ophthalmology, who should we reach out to? in your local area, um, any research opportunities, internship, working at the clinic. So because we're helping our students deepen their academic interests and you're not just stopping at volunteering at the hospital for two to three years, it demonstrates your intellectual curiosity or intellectual vitality. So that transition and the growth in your academic aptitude is something that needs to be exemplified. And believe it or not, I do get a handful of students who say, can I just volunteer at the hospital so I can get a lot of volunteering hours? And I'm like, well, do you wanna get into pre-med, pre-dentistry, medical sciences? And the student's like, no, I just wanna volunteer and show colleges that I am volunteering. And so um, that's not the best uses of your time because every time you decide to say yes to something, there's always going to be an opportunity cost. Don't forget about that. And uh, one of the, in one of the interviews with Dartmouth College Admission Officer, he said, you know, I read so many college applications and essays every single year. Can you 
But guys, please write why you are doing this. Why does this matter to you? What was your reasoning for this? Not just, I'm going to volunteer at the hospital because I can. So the why becomes a really good checking point and also a good way for us to strategize the student standout factor in this process. Um, and the reason why we have to hyper focus on this is because you only have one or two years to show colleges who you are as a strong applicant in a compelling way. And that's the really, you know, the best way to stand out and get accepted in this climate right now. So. Um, yeah, I hope that you found this video to be refreshing. Uh, volunteering is a good opportunity, especially at a hospital, but for some students, we say no to it automatically. And for some students, we say, okay, let's go ahead and try it out for a couple of months because it does make sense in the college application that the student is trying to submit. All right, well, I hope you found the video helpful. I also have an amazing introduction uh, to college admissions process training. It is completely free. You just have to put in your name and email address and you will be directed to that training. And you'll learn a lot more about what other pieces goes inside the college admissions process as well as new policy changes updates what is it that colleges are really looking for in a strong applicant so all of that will be covered uh, inside our free introductory training at passionprep.com forward slash masterclass so i hope you take that and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and i'll be back here with another one very soon bye